Hi everyone. Welcome to part 27 of A Revolution of Light and Love. A beautiful book of channel teachings from Jesus on how you can find joy, peace and love by living as your true self. And today's part is called Being Your True Self. And it's full of beautiful, pure, simple, direct teachings which I just love. So before we listen, let's just close our eyes for a moment to tune into the beautiful, loving energy. Just taking some long, slow, deep breaths in. Just letting everything go in the out breaths. Gently focusing on your heart. Breathing deeply into your heart. And as you breathe into your heart, Let your heart gently soften. Let your heart gently open. Let your heart expand in love. Expanding out to meet the beautiful, loving, healing energy that's around you. as you feed Jesus and your teachers with you. And you feel yourself held in this love. If you want, you can keep your eyes closed as you listen to these beautiful words. Being your true self. Stillness is a cornerstone of your enlightenment. You're filling up with the light of God. Inner stillness is always accompanied by peace and calm. When you operate from the still centre, you act rather than react. You consciously choose what to do next. You act from your soul rather than react from your ego. Stillness, peace and calm are not weak. Like love, you often think of them as weak, but they give you the utmost strength. They form a solid immovable foundation from which all else flows in divine order. You also think that peace will quench your passion, but peace gives focus to your passion, allowing it to boil up and be focused like a laser beam, wherever you want to use it. Have all the great spiritual teachers not been filled with this peace and stillness? Have I not said, be still and know that I am God? All the great truths and wisdoms have been given to you many, many times. There is nothing hidden. There is no big secret that only a few initiates can learn. There is only love, peace, stillness, knowing God and knowing yourself as God. There is only living from your soul and fulfilling your unique purpose. There is only living for the whole and expanding the whole. But the irony is that to live for the whole, you must first truly live for yourself. Finding out how you, who you are, finding out what only you can give the world, and sticking to your uniqueness no matter what. All the teachings are there, and here I give them to you again, simply and directly, 
so that you may learn. But the time is here when you must stop learning and stop reading and stop thinking about these teachings and start to live them. Start to put them into practice in your daily life. At first you may only succeed in living them for a few seconds at a time. But this is not an excuse to stop. You must start again and again until you can sustain who you really are for longer and longer. And the day will come when you are truly yourself and truly exhibiting your divine nature in every moment. And then you'll know what it is to be one with God and to know, to know true happiness. So start right now in this moment to practice being utterly yourself, living from your unique soul. Take the first step on the path and I will lead you the rest of the way. Again and again I tell you, you are never alone. I, God, the angels, your spiritual guides are all here waiting to help you. Swallow your pride and ask for help now. No, no, it is not weak to ask for help, but it is intelligent and strong to ask for help. No, you'll progress much faster with our help. You do not have to do this alone. Take our love and our friendship and let us help you as we long to do. God is not vengeful and full of wrath. God is love. God wants only to love you. God wants you to discover that you are also pure love. When you feel this pure love inside you, you will feel yourself light up. You will feel your heart burst with joy. You will know that nothing else matters except to experience and be a part of this love and to expand this love. The universe is always expanding just as you are always expanding. Stasis is against your true nature. Embrace change. Step into it. Know that it always leads to a better future, a better you. Know that you can only change your world by changing yourself. Know that as you step away from this life, you are stepping into a better life, a pure life in soul. No, this is the only way you will find true and constant happiness. Material objects and the love of other people may give you a transitory feeling of happiness and may even make you turn away from God, thinking you don't need him. But the happiness soon passes and the emptiness and unease returns and this can only be filled with God, with God's love. Embrace this love and know you will then be given all the material objects you need and that you will love others for who they truly are and not, out of, uh, uh, and not out of some need to fill the emptiness you feel inside you. When you feel true love for another person, you will not need anything from them and then you will truly be free. You seek love, you seek freedom, you seek passion. All these can only truly be found inside yourself and only truly expressed when you combine with God's love and allow your soul to finally shine. When you are going through turmoil and confusion, you may find yourself being angry at yourself because you want to be doing more now in line with your soul. At these times, find the inner stillness. Let go and be who you truly are. If you are being your true self, it doesn't matter what you are doing. In time, your actions will follow your soul. In the meantime, be who you truly are in your soul. Then when the time comes to take action, it will be founded in the solid foundation of who 
you truly are. Let's just take a moment to close our eyes. To let that wisdom sink into our hearts. And as you feel into your heart, feel the stillness that lies there. And let this stillness, this point of calm and peace, flow out from your heart, flow through all of you. until you feel yourself sitting in this pure stillness. And as you sit in this stillness, feel the light of your own pure soul shining brightly. Shining all you truly are into the world. And now here's my thoughts on how you might put this into practice. Be magnificent. We think wanting to be awesome, fantastic, magnificent is coming from our ego. But what is your intention behind wanting to be this? Do you want people to think you are great? Or do you want to live a glorious life and make a positive change in this world? You are no good to God, the universe or yourself if you are being half-hearted about your life. Stop playing down your strength and pretending you are inadequate out of fear of your ego. Stop playing small. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of your desire to change things for the better. Be proud of trying to be better than you were yesterday. All the great spiritual teachers, such as Jesus and Buddha, were awesome. Go out and be the awesome, fantastic, magnificent person you came into this life to be and change the world. Do one thing today that makes you feel awesome. A world full of awesome, fantastic, magnificent people is a world I want to live in. Just making me smile reading those words that I wrote. A long time ago and hope you'll take them to heart and stop playing small this is your time to be magnificent this is your time to shine your magnificent beautiful fantastic soul out into the world this is a time when we need you to be magnificent we need you to be your true soul self so stop hiding it stop pretending to be anything less and just be it and let yourself shine out truly and freely this week. So thanks for listening today. And until next week, take care.